Hi, I'm Jerry, and welcome back to History in Your Own Backyard. Today I'm with Julie in the town of Williamsburg, Ohio, which is one of the oldest towns in Ohio. Julie, nice to have you with us. Thank you. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. I understand that this town was actually formed back in the late 1700s by a gentleman named William Lytle. That's correct. He came here in 1795 with his older brother, John. They were surveying the area. Um, several other men came with them, and they established a surveying camp along the East Fork of the Little Miami River. Uh, their job was to survey the western portion of the Virginia Military District, which was land set aside for the veterans of the Revolutionary War. Um, it was in lieu of money, which was very scarce at that point in time. So the, the land was already set aside by the government right. to repay veterans from the Revolutionary True. War instead of hard cash. Right. But basically, you got a homestead and a place to live if you built it yourself um, as in compensation for your service. That's right. So he came out, had her survey that, and liked it so much he formed a town. He did. He noticed that the water source was excellent and that the rolling land was a good thing. So mm -hmm. he decided this was a good place for a town and he planned one right then and there. Uh, the winter of 1795-96 was so severely cold that they couldn't drive the surveying stakes into the ground. So they had to postpone their surveying until the spring of 1796. And at that time they platted the land and started selling lots for people right. and people started building cabins in 1796. It was so cold they couldn't drive stakes into the ground. That's an Ohio winter for you. <laughs> right. Now the much. original town was called uh, Lytle's Town. Right. Named after William Lytle of course. That's right. But I understand they had some name changes then. It remained Lytle's Town until 1802 and then they changed it to Williamsburg which had an H on the end of it. Old world spelling, a G-H. Correct. And it remained that way until 1893 when they dropped the final H. So, now I understand there's a famous covered bridge nearby. There was a famous covered bridge until John Hunt Morgan's raiders burned it down. <laughs> oh no, well that was back in like the 1800s during That's the right. uh, Civil War. It was built in 1860 and burned in 1863 uh -huh. and then rebuilt in 1864 and the townspeople affectionately called it the Old Covered Bridge. Well, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> then it was rebuilt with a modern one by the WPA in 1936, and it's been updated, improved, and structurally re sound restored since then. And that's the bridge that's there now. That's correct. Now, I understand that Williamsburg, being an older town, has a lot of older buildings that are still standing. Is that right? That's correct. Can you tell me about some of them? The old stone house on Front Street was built by John Charles, the same man who built uh, Lytle's property right. here, uh -huh. his houses. Um, his home was built in 1805 for Samuel Davies, who was actually Lytle's brother-in-law, uh -huh. and who eventually became the mayor of Cincinnati. In 1805, that building is still standing. That's correct. In, in America, that's amazing to have a building over 200 years old. It is. It's owned by the town and has been very well taken care of through the years. The, the community building is next to it, uh -huh. and it's um, it's where the village offices are housed, the administrative offices. Okay, all right. And then there's an Atchley House and some other properties. The Atchley House was the the name prior to the to the Valley View Tavern, um, and it was a tavern and an, a hotel. And it uh -huh. as the Valley View, it still is a tavern and hotel. Actually, the Methodist Church held some of their first meetings in the back room of that building. Of the tavern? Of the tavern, uh -huh. right. yes. Now, I understand that there's a street in town called Gay Street that used to be the most important street in town. Is that right? That's correct. It was the main street in town. Uh, it had a fording place at the eastern end of it. By, by fording place, you mean that it, you could cross the river there? Correct. So if you cross the river from one side to the other, you would come to Gay Street, which would be the first street you came to. That's correct. So that was the place to cross the river. That's right. And Gay Street was, by golly, your hit town when you come to Gay Street. That's right. But I understand that changed. It did. Um, it was part of what was called the Bullskin Trace, uh -huh. which is where all the buffalo and elk and other wild animals would cross the river also. They were pretty smart about that. They were, and of course the Native Americans crossed there also. Uh -huh. And as a matter of fact, Simon Kenton is definitely one who crossed there uh -huh. as a prisoner of the Native Americans. Oh, my. 
And uh, however, when James Kane saw that that was not necessarily a good traffic flow for his business. Because he had a business on Main Street. On, on Front Street, on Front actually, Street. Uh-huh. yes. Um, he decided to create a dugway, he and his sons, so that traffic would be diverted right past his tavern. And, oh, how convenient yes, for him. Yes, That's like which, being on the off-ramp of a freeway, isn't it? <laughs> That's correct. And he created this dugway, and Main Street has become the Main Street of town ever since then, and Gay Street no longer was. So Main Street came about because of an enterprising businessman who snuck away to get the traffic coming to him. That's correct. There you go. And another interesting fact about that whole area there between Gay Street and Front Street is that the very first child born in Lytlestown was born there to Elizabeth and Absalom Day in 1797. Tell me about some of the other structures in town. Gay Street has several important structures on it. The John Williams home was built in 1862, and during Morgan's raid, some of his officers spent the night there. And Gay Street's also the home of the town's first churches. They were the First Presbyterian Church, the Methodist Church, and the United Brethren Church. And that church building is now a residence. It's so it still converted. stands. It still stands. Wow. Yes. Also, very importantly, are two homes on Gay Street that were involved with the Underground Railroad. One was the home of Charles, or Boss Huber, who was actually the conductor of the Underground Railroad in this area. And next to it was the home of Dr. Levitt Pease. And after Huber passed away, Dr. Pease became the conductor. And he and his wife were both very active on the Underground Railroad circuit and their homes are listed by the National Park Service on the Underground Railroad Freedom Trail. The home of John Lytle, which was William Lytle's brother, stood on the corner of Broadway and Main Street, and it was a very large structure built in 1817, contained 12 large rooms and one evidently seated at least 50 people which was large at that point in time. Wow, that's large any time. Yes. Uh, Some of Morgan's raiders spent the night there, and one of his soldiers carved the words, John Morgan, July 14, 1863, 3,000 men on the doorstep, and that doorstep can still be seen there along the street on Main Street. So people could visit that and actually see that was carved. Yes. Amazing. It it has a plaque over it now to protect it from the elements, but it's, it's still there. I understand there's a lot of significant uh, buildings and happenings around the town square. The town square was originally a five and a fourth acre area presented by William Lytle to the town with a specification that it was to be used for public buildings. The first Claremont County Courthouse was built there and the jail and another office building in 1809 when Williamsburg was the Claremont County seat. Mm-hmm. In 1858 and 59, the old brick schoolhouse replaced the courthouse on the same spot Uh on the public square, but it was later destroyed by fire in 1922, and a new brick school building was built in 1923 and served the community until the new middle high school was built in 1996. Now, the cemeteries used to be an important part of a town. Every town had a, you know, a number of taverns and a courthouse and a cemetery. I'm sure there's an important cemetery in Williamsburg. There is. The Williamsburg Township Cemetery is a very important historic site. The red brick building that we see in the cemetery is called the Vault, and it was constructed in 1885 as a storage building for equipment. It was also used as a temporary resting place for coffins when the ground was frozen too hard to allow for immediate burials. Oh, my. The slate roof that's on the building is original to the building also. Uh Uh-huh. Eleven revolutionary soldiers are buried in the cemetery. The Civil War Monument was created by the community in the early 1900s to commemorate the sacrifices of all those who fought in that war. Mm -hmm. And our cemetery records tell us that 189 Civil War soldiers are buried here in the Williamsburg Cemetery. Uh, There's also a, a marker commemorating Williamsburg's bicentennial in 1996, and that's right next to the Civil War Monument. Williamsburg is an amazing town with a lot of history that you all have recorded and kept up for people to understand and see. It definitely is an amazing town. It has a rich history that we think is important to preserve for future generations. 
We are really grateful to those courageous souls who left their safe homes and came to an area that was not necessarily safe at the beginning. And we appreciate all their bravery and courage to carve a wilderness town out of this this wilderness. <laughs> out of wilderness, that's <laughs> yes. exactly right. A lot of sacrifices were yes. made to bring us to where we are today. That's true. Thank you for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Jerry, and we've been in Williamsburg, Ohio with Julia Hess. Thank you for joining us Thank and you, sharing Jerry. all the information. You have a wealth of knowledge about Williamsburg. Thank you very much. You're certainly welcome. And remember, travel, travel slowly, slowly and, and stop, stop often. often. Bye now. Mm -hmm.